So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the graph here provided, as well as the table here provided. When we take a closer look, we notice that the information in both the table and the graph is pretty much the same. So graphs are only superior to tables when it comes to looking at a trend, right? So we can see, for instance, that the slope here looks like it increases here, and then it slows down and then definitely slows down even more here. Whereas a table is much more uh, valuable for the specific data, right? Um, I have actual values. I know at 35 days, I have 100, <coughs> excuse me, 131 for my height. And obviously I have all those data points for the different numbers of days. So question 14 says the growth rate of the sunflower from day 14. So let's erase all these notes around here. So day 14, which is here uh, to day 35. So basically this set of data inside my rectangle. So the growth rate of the sunflower from day 14 to day 35 is nearly constant. Okay. On this interval, which of the following equations best models the height h in centimeters of the sunflower t days after it begins? So I'm going to also look on the graph, right? So from day 14 to day 35, that does actually look pretty constant. Let's get rid of all the other stuff that doesn't matter for us right now. So that does look like a pretty linear line, and I'll use a different color here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of things. One, because the question is asking us to figure out which equation matches kind of that data trend between 14 and 35 days, what I could do is use a, use a strategy called plug in information from the question. So what I can do with that is say, for instance, if I were to focus only on day 28, that would tell me that when T equals 28, I want H to equal 98.1. Now it does say best models, so I have to understand that it may not be exactly the same, but it should be pretty close. So I'm going to I'm going to do that and see if there's anything that at least allows me to cross some things out because it's just too far off. So I'm going to start up here and say, well, with choice A, right, we have H equals 2.1 T minus 15. So I'm going to say, well, uh, if I plug in the information that I'm looking to test, Instead of H equals, it would be 98.1 equals. Instead of 2.1 times T, it'd be 2.1 times 28. And then I'd have minus 15, right? So the question is, is it true that 2.1 times 28 minus 15 is equal to or closely uh, associated with 98.1. So what I get here is 43.8. So no, it's not true, right? So, and this is so far off from the 98.1 that I'm pretty certain that A can be crossed out. So let's go to choice B. So again, B says H equals. So again, I'm gonna say 98.1 is equal to 4.5 times 28 minus 27. I go back to my calculator. Multiply 4.5 times 28 and then subtract 27. And what I get from that is 98.1 equals 99. Now that's very close, right? So I'm going to keep B as a contender, basically. And if B is the only one that's very close, then I know B is the answer. If there's another option that's also pretty close, then we'll see what we need to do from there. So choice C would end up being 98.1 equals 6.8 times 28 minus 12. Again, go back to my calculator, 6.8 times 28, and then minus 12. And what I get from that is 178.4. So that's definitely not equal and nowhere close to being equal. So C is gone. And lastly, potentially, we try D and we say, okay, here, 98.1 is equal to 13.2 times 28 minus 18. Back to my calculator, 13.2 times 28 and minus 18. What I'm getting is 351.6, so definitely far off. So, you know, that means that choice B is by far the closest, by far the best model. So choice B is the 
best answer out of the options we have here.